Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about Geoffrey Chaucer. Now you see, Geoffrey Chaucer was like one of the greatest, greatest English poets there is. Like, you can't get close, okay? Like, just in medieval times, he was the bomb. He was the Michael Jackson. He was the, the, uh, Shoemaker in French, Geoffrey Chaucer was born in London, United Kingdom. <clears throat> in the oh my goodness, I'm sorry. In the year 1343, and died in the year 1400, October 25th. Geoffrey Chaucer is known to be the first English English poet. His poetry was also one of the best in medieval times. His most known work, The Canterbury Tales which speak of the political and social circumstances of the time using humor and funny stories of pilgrims going on a journey to the Canterbury Castle. In 1357, Chaucer had become a page to Elizabeth. She was the Countess of Ulster, the wife of Edward, the third son... Oh, whoops. The, the wife of Edward, the third... Third's son, Chaucer was cap. Then later, Chaucer was cap eh, captured by French during the Brittany expedition of 1359. He was later ransomed by the king Edward. Then sent Chaucer out of many. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness! Then he was then ransomed by the king, and then Edward sent Chaucer out on many diplomatic missions to France, Florence, Genoa, and through this, Chaucer had found authors such as Dante, Boseo, and Froizart. I don't know how to say their names. This could have been a giant motivation towards Chaucer later, Chaucer's later writings, such as the Canterbury Tales, which were written sometime between 1387 and the 1400s. It is currently unclear how Chaucer himself impacted the Renaissance, although I have found how writers in general could have impacted the Renaissance, as the as monarchy. In Europe gained power, they had a sense of control, and a national identity had started to develop. With this, works with this, works authors made were written in their own interpretation, other than Latin in which the church used. In this way people could see could look at look at this as if people were separating from the church 
in the writing styles. So it would be like going away from the church and focusing more on what people think other than what the church was writing at the time, I guess you could say. So I guess that's how it could contribute to the Renaissance in a way. Important works of Geoffrey Chaucer were the Canterbury Tales, of course, Shrolius and Cross-Eyed, Book of the Duchess, The House of Fame, The Parliament of Fowls, The Legend of Good Woman, and many more. And that's what I got for you guys today. And I'm sorry for me sucking at reading, but you know what? You read, I read, we all read, and we all read differently, so don't judge. Okay? Don't judge. Okay, thank you. I thank you for this time, and I hope you enjoyed me reading to you a nice little bedtime story. Hey, you in the corner. Get your head up. I can see you. Stop sleeping. Get your head up. Okay, thank you. And, teacher, I hope you enjoy. Please give me an A. Bye. Peace out. Jeffrey Chaucer, be with you.